Oh, climbing and climbing and climbing. Look at that. We're nearly at the snow line again. Woo! The doctor's doing well. She's keeping going. It might be second gear. This road is super cool to drive. Very twisty, turny. And we're heading for one of the famous viewpoints. Um, I don't remember the name. I'll tell you when we get there. There's a little bit of a break in the weather. We actually did have a few snowflakes on the way up. Uh, obviously a lot of rain, you can see it's very wet still. But we've got about six kilometers to go and we'll be at one of the highest points we're going to. And I hope the weather just holds off so that we do get some kind of view and not just clouds. So let's see. Come on, doctor, we can do this. Woo -hoo -hoo. We've made it. Mirador del Corzo. Uh, one of the most famous, I believe, viewpoints in the Picos de Europa. Oh, it's windy and it's cold. We're really not far from the snow. Um, so it's just a quick stop and then we'll be heading back down a little bit uh, to lower altitude. <laughs> it's freezing! <laughs> God, what is today all about? Literally just left the Mirador del Corzo viewpoint. Snow, wind, freezing cold. Had to get back in the van. Should have put a jacket on. Now look at me. I've turned the heating off. I've got my sunglasses on. The sun is out, there's blue sky. Today has been literally the four seasons in five hours. But that is what makes the mountains so damn exciting. I love it. Look how Mr. Koa wedges himself so that he can stand and be able to look out the front windscreen. He puts his feet at an angle and leans himself against the front chair and has a little bit of a dribble on the dashboard. But then he can see. Can you, Mr. You can see out. <laughs> Good boy. I don't know if this is coming out on camera, but it is actually snowing, just tiny little snowflakes and we've got blue sky above us. How crazy, but how amazing. So, we're back in the snow, the most we've seen so far. Oh, it's chilly, it's windy, it's cold, but I had to pull over and it's time to get Ko out. He's never seen the snow before. So, uh, let's see what he makes of it. Mr. Koa, let's go. The answer is no. Do park ups get any better? Uh, yes, we've paid 15 euros for the night, 
full facilities, we're plugged in, electric, we're in the mountains, we can have the full blown electric heater rather than the gas heater. And just look at that stunning view from the windscreen. Absolutely amazing. We are in Posada de Valderon, um, a little village. We'll have a walk into town tonight because the plan subject to the weather is tomorrow to go to Cane de Valderon, which of course is the start of one of the most famous hikes in the Picos de Europa National Park. Uh, that's a gorge walk called the Ruta del Cares, Cares, excuse my pronunciation. Um, it's a big one, it's, it's a seven, eight hour hike. Um, it looks absolutely stunning, but it's completely weather dependent. And with what's gone on today and what the forecast is for tomorrow, I really don't know. But we're gonna make the most of tonight. There's some beers in the fridge. I'm gonna chuck a pizza in the oven, do some editing, do some work. And as I say that, it's just starting to rain. Maybe we'll even wake up to some snow down here in the village. Let's see. But what a place, absolutely beautiful. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, yeah, no, it's not a good morning. Um, the weather is absolutely terrible. Such a shame and such a disappointment. But it's what we knew was the gamble, was the risk coming this time of year into the mountains. Um, it is persistently raining quite heavily certainly would not be any fun to do what is considered or what is in fact the most popular hike in spain um, and it's a full day and looking at the forecast there's just not a even a couple of hours gap where we could do an hour each way just to get a taster get some footage um, it's miserable we um, have until midday, until we have to check out of where we are on this uh, park up, this motorhome stop. So we're gonna make the most of it. Gonna have a shower, um, cup of tea, some toast. Ugh. Maybe the forecast will be wrong, but it looks like it's in for the day. In which case we'll stay till midday and then we'll head off to um, a new location. I mean, I could stay here overnight, uh, or for the day obviously overnight and then see what it's like tomorrow but again the forecast isn't looking great I don't know let me have a cup of tea and think about it but uh, time for a shower oh morning someone's little head morning not happy are you no he's not happy either he wanted to go on his gorge hike and he can't and he wanted to hide the uh, find my stone that we've got the Trimon whatever it is, Galais, Trimon Galais? Have I remembered that? Bloody hell, maybe, maybe not. Um, so we'll have to find a different location for that. Okay, we will catch you in a bit. Okay, so an update. Um, as the uh, wolf of Wall Street would say, I'm not leaving, I'm not leaving. It's miserable, so we're just gonna stay here for the day, hunker down, and watch the weather, I guess. Obviously work, edit, and get out in between what is now become rain, howl, stones, and some snow. And the cloud cover is super low. So yeah, at least we are in a safe location. Pretty boring day, but Celebi, what will be, will be. <laughs> so there was a break in the weather. The sun actually popped its head through. And I was like, yes, we can get out, even if it's just for an hour. Yeah, it lasted 10 minutes. It started raining again. The camera's not waterproof. And uh, yeah. It's just not gonna happen, is it, unfortunately? Uh, so we're back, going back to the van um, and that'll be it, I think, for today. Unless there's a miracle. I don't see us being able to get any footage or do any kind of walk uh, of the Ruta de Cares whilst we're here in the Picos, which is such a shame. 
But anyway, it is what it is. And the rain's getting heavier, so I'm gonna put you down. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Listen, this is just quick. I had to stop. I hope you can see behind me this rainbow um, going over my head. I literally have, don't think I've ever been so close to a rainbow that I could almost touch it. Um, I'll put a little bit more footage up I just took because we just passed a little family of uh, cows as well, which is really sweet on the road. But wow, this is spectacular. Hello, hello. So we've moved from uh, Posada de Valdeon to Cain de Valdeon, both of which villages claim to be the start from this side of the Ruta de Cares. Um, I think if you start uh, from Posada, it's just um, a more gradual entry into the gorge. We've just driven down part of the gorge. Wow, spectacular. I'll throw some footage up. But uh, as you can see, it's still raining. but. I just couldn't come here and not attempt even just an hour in and an hour out. So we'll see what happens. I mean, if the weather gets too bad, we will have to come back. But at the moment, it's pretty light. We're going to head into the gorge, see what it's all about. Risk it for a biscuit, as they say. And uh, yeah, come along for the, for the walk. And uh, let's see what is meant to be one of the most spectacular walks in Spain. Exciting times. so low I'm having to crouch. I don't know who built them but they must have been tiny people. You couldn't write this, I promise you. Um, two days, you know, hanging around in a little mountain village in the hope that we'd get a break in the weather to be able to go and do one of the most famous gorge hikes in Spain, or if not the most famous gorge hike in Spain. No, didn't happen. The weather wasn't with us. It was miserable. It was peeing down with rain. We got literally 10 minutes into the hike. I was like, you know, we're just going to go for it. We weren't going to do all of it. I don't know how much we were going to do, but we literally got 10 minutes in and met a couple coming up as the first people we'd seen. And uh, they were like, no, it's closed. There's been, because of the weather, there'd been like a landslide. There was rocks and it was closed. So <laughs> after waiting around, not getting the gap in the weather, because even though there was meant to be this gap, it was still pants. Um, all we got is a very small piece of footage. So we've come down uh, to continue our journey. I was like, do we just leave the Picos? You know, do we just take a hint? Someone upstairs is looking down on us and probably having a good old laugh. But anyway, we continued the journey um, to where we now are. And I'll put the name on the, on the screen. The name of the town is Cangas de Onis. Um, it's at the, if you're looking at a map of the Picos, it's the like northwest point at the top. Um, the reason being there's some big reservoir walks. Um, the name eludes me again at the moment. I'll talk to you about that when we go, potentially, hopefully, tomorrow. But more to the point, when we left the uh, route of the carers today, like I said, the weather was miserable. It was closed anyway. It wasn't going to happen. And would you now look at it? I'm back in shorts and t-shirt. 
it's still windy, but it's not cold. I mean, we're not in a very glamorous location. We're just in a car park at the back of town. But to be on solid concrete in the sun, everything on the doctor is hanging out drying because it's not been an easy, what, week, 10 days. We have just had relentless bad weather, rain, even Koa is trying to find some shade already <laughs> because the sun is beating down. It's lovely, actually. it's really nice. Windows are open on the doctor, airing everything out. So uh, yeah, happy days. Um, we're gonna go into town. I'm not gonna film anything in this particular town, but uh, you know what? I just wanna go and have a beer and have a nice meal outside of the doctor, a nice lunch. And then uh, let's see what tomorrow brings. But hopefully if the weather stays good, we will get to do finally at least one a nice hike in the picos before we leave so uh, fingers crossed wish us luck we're going to get some food and a drink and we'll see you soon I know, I know, right? What's that behind me? Blue sky and mountains. We made it. We have a day in the Picos, which is absolutely beautiful. I won't spin all the way around because you'll get the sun glare on the lens. I'll show you the scenery, but I feel like I'm on top of the world. We've had about a two hour hike to get up here. Now we're going to explore the top of uh, this little mountain area. We're in Covadonga, the lakes of Covadonga. And boy, it's spectacular, absolutely spectacular. But I'm just so happy that finally it stopped bloody raining. We can get out the van and explore. Obviously, Koa is primarily still on a lead, unfortunately, it is the rules. But if I do see a flat area where I can see that there's no cattle, no livestock, then I have given him the odd five, 10 minutes to discharge his batteries because I feel really sorry for him. I mean, it must be a week or more now that he's actually not really been let off the lead for a proper run, um, but them's the rules. But obviously we've got, as you know, the, the eight meter retractable lead. So, you know, he's got a bit of freedom, but uh, yeah, this is, I don't know, this might be our last day in the Picos. We'll, we'll see what the weather does. I know I keep saying that, but it is obviously very weather dependent. If it stays like this, we might stay another day or two. But again, it was meant to be raining, so I've given up with the forecast. I mean, there is some cloud coming in. It might rain, so we need to make the most of the, the weather while it is what it is. But come on, let me show you these sights because uh, this is what it's like being back in the mountains, and I absolutely love it.
Oh, spectacular, just spectacular. Koa is feeding himself on numerous cow poo, horse poo, some kind of other poo, you name it. Oh. It is windy though. I would love to get the drone out up here, but I just don't think it's worth the risk, which is such a shame. But one thing we have got to do, let's not forget my promise, the stone. How do you say it again? Truvemont Galley. Now I promised the gentleman that gave it to me that I would drop it off in the Picos. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. I have found this lovely little spot. As you can see, there's a, a path walking along this peak just there. And if we spin around, there's a view of the lake in the distance. And then there's this large mound, boulder, rock formation that Koa is happily running over. So yeah, I think this will be the perfect location. It's not too far off of a, of a track or people are gonna walk by. Uh, it's at an area that I think they would find interesting to come and, and you know, have a look at, take some pictures from, and hopefully find the stone. So this is it. This is where my stone's journey with me ends. Oh, a little bit emotional. And we'll leave it for someone else to find. Man, this is amazing. So we found a little sheltered spot down by one of the lakes. Oh, it's a beautiful day, but it's so windy. I did just briefly try and get the drone up. I think I got like a 10 second clip and I was like, no, nah, squeaky bum time, that's coming down. So uh, I took it out of the sky because it's just not worth the risk. But uh, it is stunning. I would love to spend a month exploring this area. It's absolutely amazing, if not longer than a month, in fact. But uh, yeah, beautiful. We have a quick snack and then uh, push on on our hike. I think we've been uh, walking for, I don't know, about three hours now. It's absolutely amazing. Look at him, he's like a little kid. He wants to walk up on the wall, not down on the path. He's been up there the whole way down here. <laughs> wow, what a day. Definitely need this. We've come back to Can Gas de Honest. Um, because it's you know half an hour 40 minutes from the lakes um well obviously we've been walking all day today finally out in the picos but oh my god just the scenery was unbelievable i mean you know i've worked a fair few winters in the alps 
Um, and I've visited the Dolomites before. And they, the, 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 the Picos really do, I know if Bobby said this, they really do remind me of the Dolomites. Just the structure, the jaggedness at the top of some of the peaks. It's, it's uh, yeah. I love living um, in, on, don't know what you say, Ibiza. Um, but you can't beat the mountains. We've been walking, I'm aching. <laughs> We made the most of the weather. We've been walking for at least six hours today. Um, hence why I didn't want to do any driving. So we've come back to a very boring but very functional motorhome park up um, on concrete. And it has services except electric. So all is good. So I've just been to the supermarket, got some supplies, got some more beverages got some food for tonight. I did have a pizza in the fridge that I was going to chuck in the oven, but um, then I just didn't fancy it. So I've got some, I've got, actually got a real mixture. I've got some, just some stuff again. I'm tired, you can tell, a lot of walking. Um, just some stuff to chuck in the oven, not doing anything fancy tonight. Um, Go do some editing, obviously need to get out the next video diary. Um, and yeah, just relax. Man, I'm tired, but boy, it's good. It's a good feeling, huh? But what a day, what an absolutely spectacular day. And if anybody that's watching this has the chance to come to the Picos and go to the lakes, I've forgotten the name again. What are they? Hold on, I'm gonna have to look it up. The Cova Donga, what a name. The Cova Donga Lakes. Um, in the height of the summer, the road up is closed. You have to use like the, it's a bit like um, park and ride. You park and you have to take a bus, which you pay for. But this time of year, early November, the road up is fully open. I mean, it's steep. The doctor, fair play to her. She done well today. We've had a lot of first and second gear today going up and coming down to obviously use the uh, engine braking, but uh, well worth it, well worth it. And finally, uh, you know, Cover got a good run. Not always off the lead, unfortunately. So that's definitely something I need to look into. But it's Sunday. I'm going to probably watch a bit of footy, I guess. I don't know. Don't even know who's playing. I'm going to chill out anyway. So we will catch you on the next video. Take it easy. Um, and that's the Picos. Come and visit them. They're amazing.